Now let me just replace this text using icons. So instead of using this text over here inside this navigation menu, I'm using icons. So let's open a new tab and I'm going to install React icons. I'm going to search for React icon and click on this React icon .io. From this website, you can use many icons. Here you have a different website icons and you can use any of them by clicking on these tabs. So to install React icons, you have to just execute a command called npm install React icons. So let's execute this. So I'm going to open my terminal, open a new terminal, enter into the project directory. And here I'm going to say npm install React icons hyphen hyphen save. Once I press enter, this is going to install this React icons library in this project. Once you have this, let me just close this terminal. And right down here, if you want to use any of these icons, you have to first import that icon and then use as a component. You can see here. I'm using here this ICO moon free icons. I'm just going to choose this import statement. I'm going to copy this import statement. I'm going to import that. And instead of this icon name, you have to specify your actual icon name. I'm using Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube icon. So when I scroll down, here I'm going to have my Facebook icon. This is the YouTube icon and this is the Twitter icon. So to copy this, just click on this icon and just press Ctrl V. That will just import that icon name like this. Just do the same for Twitter and click on the YouTube. When you click on the icon, that will automatically copy and you can paste that icon inside the import statement. Something like this. Let me get it off this Facebook right from here. And I'm going to use this Facebook icon. So I'm going to copy this, paste it right here and press tab. That will add the Facebook icon in this project. You can just remove this second tag and specify here for a slash to close this component. And you can see you have the icon here. Just for that, let me do the same thing for this Twitter and for this YouTube. Let me get rid of this closing tags because I'm closing this something like this because I'm using self closing tags. Just for that, when I save the changes, you can see you have your icons. Now what I want, I want to specify color to it. So here I'm going to specify a property called color and the color is going to be the hex value. So I'm just going to specify color here. Save the changes. Here you can see we have this color to these icons. Now that's upon you. You can specify any hex color to these icons. I'm using here this one. Let me specify that color here like this. Save this file. Here I'm going to have my icons. Just for that, let me just back to this title right here. To this title, I'm going to specify some class name first. So I'm going to specify here class name. So first I'm going to specify here font bold, uppercase and text 3XL. Let me save this. You can see I'm going to have the result something like this. Now what I want, I want to import the font family, the global font family to this project. So I'm going to open a new tab and search for Google font. I'm going to search for it and click on this Google font. I'm using Poppins font. So just search for it. Poppins, this one. Scroll down. I'm using regular one. So select this style. Click on the import and copy this import statement. Then you have to back to your global CSS right here. And at the top, right above this Delvin, you have to import this import statement. Just for that, I'm not using this HTML body. Instead, I'm using my own font family. So I'm going to select all the component and select all the descendant components and then specify here font family poppins. So I'm going to copy this and specify that here. Now, when I save the changes, you can see everything is going to change and then I'm going to have my Poppins font family to all the text. If I open the inspect tool, you can see the navigation menu is responsive as well. Let's move and create the main section of this website. 